going to look at, it's just a continuation about the criteria of successful teams. We're looking at the characteristics of a successful team. And we can all think back quite fondly onto the 2019 Rugby World Cup and how CFBC really managed to bring home that victory. And that sense of unity and team was really part of that. So when we look at the characteristics, this is nothing new. This is things that you've done before. But there are very similar characteristics here that we found in the criteria for a successful team. And the first one is there has to be a common goal. You know, you, everyone in a team needs to want to achieve that same thing, right? There needs to be shared common values. Whether that value is something like we will always be punctual, or we will always train as hard as we can, or we will always be honest, that is a shared value that everyone in a team needs to bring in order for it to be successful. The next one is we value the contributions of everyone, okay? Whether it is simply the person making tea for everyone, or is it someone who is typing up the minutes, or it's someone who's doing the budget, every single person's role in that team is of great value and importance. Again, this climate of respect and trust. Remember with the criteria we spoke about mutual trust, shared values, very similar things and quite necessary that we see it in the characteristics too. The sense of being able to communicate well okay, definitely is a firm characteristic of a successful team. If you are not open or able to communicate openly and honestly, things will crumble. Right? And lastly, taking accountability. Putting your hand up and saying, I did that, I was wrong, what can I do to fix it? So these are just some of the characteristics of successful teams. Once again, a very popular question that is asked in the NEC, and it's between 8 and 10 marks. Good luck, chaps, and whatever team you're in, make sure that it's a successful